Welcome back to Dave's Tech Table. Today we're going to tackle AVC HD editing and the new production premium CS4. If you guys haven't heard about AVC HD editing, it's a very cool format and I think it's going to be here for a while. I've been shooting for a while with this Canon HF10 and I've got a couple other AVC HD cameras and they're all absolutely amazing. This technology is really starting to expand. If you haven't had the opportunity to check it out, it's really pretty easy. You basically shoot your footage on on these SD cards which are in these cameras and after you pop the SD card out of the camera you simply just put it in a USB holder like this little $10 USB holder here pop this in your USB slot and you can edit as always with our formats directly off of the card it is a great way to do rough cuts and rough edits it's really amazing so being able to shoot that video throw it on a USB reader stick it in your USB slot and just start editing it's absolutely amazing I'm already starting to see new cameras come out. Panasonic just announced this particular camera here, the 150. It's amazing. So you're going to start to see these things coming in all different sizes and uh, you know different ranges and price uh, points. I think it's really going to be here for a while, and you guys have got to check this out in the brand new Production Premium CS4. Let's jump to it. Let's go ahead and start by launching Premiere Pro CS4. And I'm going to start a new project and call it CS4 Demo. And I'm just going to stick that out on my desktop. One of the big changes from Premiere Pro CS4 from CS3 is this ability to create multiple sequences of different presets in the same project. It's almost like having multiple projects in one project. So I'll try to explain this as we go along. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pick out my AVC HD preset for my camera. This is pretty critical that you know how you shot the video um, in, your, uh, in your camera. But I'll show you uh, a quick way to, uh, to double check that if you're not sure if you shot it full HD or, uh, or anamorphic. So let's just go ahead and choose the way that I shot it. I'm going to call my sequence the name of my camera, which is a Canon HF10. And one of the first things you're going to notice is it looks a little different, but basically the same. One of the things you're going to notice is a brand new window here called the Media Browser that's off on this side. This is a, a very unique feature uh, in CS4 and you're going to depend on it a lot. Uh, I know since I've been using it for the last several months um, I can't live without it now. Whenever I go back to CS3 I'm always sort of looking for the media browser and of course it's not there, it's new in CS4. What you see here is you see all of your hard drives. So here's my Macintosh HD, my RAID, my Windows drive. I can even get to my server and play media directly off my server. So this is pretty cool. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is insert that Canon SD card that you saw me holding up a little while ago and show you that all it's going to do is pop up right on the desktop. And you're going to look right here and you see where it says Canon. So again, that's just the name of my SD card. So these are all the volumes that are mounted. So if I click click on my Canon, you're going to notice that it shows me the, the root level folder and as soon as I double click on it, it's going to identify that media where it says view as up here as AVC HD. So if I double click, it looks at it and immediately identifies it as AVC HD. Now you can also look here and see what other viewers we support. So we support P2, HDV, XDCAM EX, and XDCAM HD. So uh, very flexible. So this is sort of how you get around to look at uh, some of the tapeless media that's out there. It's pretty slick. Um, let's go ahead and just pick a file like this number 17. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this clip. And it's going to load it in the source window. Now from this point, just like any of the other uh, tapeless formats that we have, I can go ahead and just play it. So I'll click play. And you see it's playing directly off the card. Not really any different than what I've shown you in the past using P2 or XDCAM EX. Just playing directly off the card. So you can in fact, uh, you know, import this stuff and start doing your rough cut and so forth. Save your project and then, uh, and then move it over. But what makes this really unique in the media browser is being able to set your in and your out points. As this sailboat starts to near the dock over here, I'm going to go ahead and select my endpoint 
and as it starts turning around the corner here I'm gonna go ahead and set my out point now I can go ahead when I drag this down to the timeline or, or hit a keyboard shortcut either way uh, you're gonna notice that now it's going to add it to the project because at this point I'm reading it directly off of one of these volumes. I have not committed it to the project, which this is a huge difference in the way that CS4 works versus the way CS3 works. And again, once you start working this way, your projects will be smaller. You'll get a lot more of what you want. Uh, you don't always have to import things to figure out if that's what you want to do because you end up with a lot of extra stuff in your project panel there that you may not need. So this is really going to help that. So I'm going to drag this down to my project, uh, to my time line here and you'll see that now it's just going to play. So I'm playing directly off of the card. Now one of the things I want to point out, AVCHD is one of the most difficult formats to decode in its native format, which is why a lot of other NLEs out there will try to flip it to another format, like an intermediate format of some nature. So again, with Adobe, we choose to stay uh, native uh, until you decide when you're ready to convert it to something else. We sort of leave that up to you. Um, now, one of the things you'll notice is when I go over here, I'm going to go to my home directory. So you, again, the media browser is just, it's keeping track of everything that I've been dealing with in the past. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go out to my desktop and I see that I've got a P2 folder here. Now, let me show you what happens when I click on either an XD cam or a P2. So here's my AVCHD. Let me point that out first real quick. These are the files that I dragged off of the card and kept them intact with all the folder stuff in there. I'm going to go ahead and show you when I go to my XD cam. Here's all my XD cam footage. I can go ahead and double click on any one of these. And now I'm playing XD cam uh, up here. Plays beautiful. Again, I haven't committed it to the project because notice it didn't add it up here. And if I go back over here and I go to P2, P2 actually is a little unique because it actually gives me thumbnails. It actually has a thumbnail structure uh, that's in it that we can read. Um, one of the things I know we'd love to do is to give you guys thumbnails and these formats here. And that's uh, something we need to do. But the way that it reads it today, you're only going to get thumbnails in, uh, in P2 because those actually have BMP files. Of course, of course, one way to do that would be to make you wait while we create thumbnails for each one of these. And I think for now, we just didn't figure people want to wait. Okay, now let's look at, at, a, at a couple of other quick things. I'm going to go ahead and import um, all of this AVCHD footage uh, in here. So let's go back out to, uh, to my home directory. And I'm going to click on this uh, Annapolis footage. And let's go back up here, and I'm going to call this... Uh, Canon HF10 because again that's the camera that I shot it with and I'm going to go ahead and just import all of this footage directly in there and that's got about 15 or 16 minutes I think on that particular uh, card there so you see it imports it fairly quick and I think for AVCHD, um, you know, the more you work off the hard drive, the happier you're going to be. It is very dependent on the speed of your uh, of your computer. So now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put this down on the timeline, and you see I've got just uh, just over 16 minutes there. I'll go ahead and bring that up full screen so you can see what it looks like. I'll play a few seconds of that and let you take a look at, uh, at some of the colors here. Let me go ahead and just pull some of this up. And again, you're seeing it's trying to it's trying to play that as best effort. As I've said, AVCHD is extremely difficult to, uh, to decode. So depending on the speed of your computer is going to tell you about the playback um, that, you've, uh, that you've got. So let's go ahead and create another folder up here. And I'm going to go ahead and call this XDCAM. And let's go ahead and bring in 